victory for us, it started with selling the cereal commodities through the AWB or Cargill brand um, and just asking the question, have you ever given it a thought? And it led to a couple of trial bags of seed and we, we chucked it out there and it performed equal to what we did. It had a better oil content than what we, you know, what our common practice was of the year. With the premiums they offer on the oil, the flexibility of being able to just deliver it to my own site during harvest so you haven't got those logistical challenges, it's worked quite well. So we'll be heading into our third season this year. Generally speaking, yeah, to be that sort of 10th of April kickoff and sort of two kilos is our seeding rate. We have dry springs here in the Wimmera and uh, the lower seeding rates generally come home um, and grain quality is better and oil is better as well. Last year it equaled my best yielding other variety. The oil was about 2% higher than what our standard practice was so nice to get a little bit of a premium. It's one thing to grow it but if you can make a little bit extra along the way and that's a pretty big deal. The, the slider, you know, the higher the price, the bigger the gap, the bigger the premium. So um, Victory gives you that opportunity. You know, with the Victory stuff as well, the black leg, the Victory was really, really clean. So pretty comfortable with that. Don't be scared, just try it. Like put a paddock in, what do you got to lose? Look, if you can grow the same yield as what you're currently doing in your standard agronomic practice, and if you can be on the, the higher end of the premiums with the, you know, the loyal client, the early sign up and all the other bits and pieces, Utilise your on-farm storage, add a bit of cash to the system that way as well. If you're going to grow two tonne to the hectare and your premium's going to be $75 and you're going to grow two tonne across the board, there's 150 bucks a hectare that you've made just by choosing this particular variety. And if it's cheaper to grow with no fungicide required for the blackleg component, then you'd be crazy not to have a look at it.